hello everyone so in this video we will learn how we can install tailwind css in our project so this is very simple so let me let me start okay so right now we are in tailwind css official website so we will go to docs and now in docs there is installation section so we will go to installation then there are multiple options in for installation Ta tailwind cli po using post css and framework guides and play cdn so there are basically there are two ways to install uh, tailwind css one way is to uh, you know just for learning purpose that is play cdn and another way is to you know install properly for production uh, purpose so first we will learn uh, the easiest way okay so we will go for play cdn so in this play cdn this is just a uh, cdn link so you have to put the cdn link in your uh, html and that's it guys so you will be able to use uh, tailwind css right away so let me try so uh, here so this is my html page basically okay and this is the html page right here uh, this is the html page hello is written here so inside this html page i will just add this uh, script like this so this is the script i just need to add this script and now i am able to use any of the tailwind CS classes here so let me show you so if i refresh this page nothing will change right now but i will be able to use uh, tailwind CS classes here let me show you how we can do it so if we say class and i use uh, inline inline block okay there is a class inline block okay and uh, then uh, width 32 and width sorry height also 32 okay and uh, uh, bg background color red bg red 400 okay so if i use this one so these are the classes defined inside uh, tailwind css okay so if i use this and then uh, refresh the page then you 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 can see uh, the tailwind css classes are getting applied here okay so uh, so this is the easiest way to install so you can uh, while you are learning tailwind css you can easily just use uh, cdn uh, link and just start using these uh, classes for tail tailwind css to for the learning purpose only but it says when you say the play cdn is designed for development purpose only and this is not best choice for production so when you you are just learning uh, tailwind css then you can use it directly but for the production or you know uh, full-fledged projects you you are not recommended uh, to use this uh, place cdn uh, link so for that we have to properly install tailwind css in our project so uh, in next step i will show you how we can do that okay so uh, uh, okay so now we will see we will uh, there are there are multiple options uh, for for that tailwind css uh, tailwind cli and post using post css and framework guides okay so we will use uh, most famous framework uh, that, that is react or next we can say so this is the beat okay wheat is more uh, very much popular uh, bundler right now and uh, so we will use wheat to start up our local server so we will select wheat here and uh, okay in, inside the wheat there are three options to select uh, what is uh, one is for react other is, is for view third one is for uh, as palette so we will select uh, react because most people are using react right now so there are these are the steps to follow to install tailwind css okay so we will do one by one so let me copy this one and uh, we will go inside our folder uh, to create a new project okay basically uh, okay so it is saying npm create wheat latest and my project so my project will be the name of the project okay so uh, we will run this okay now we are uh, it has created my project with the default setting okay so let me open this uh, my project in in co vs code okay so let me open it okay so my project is the name so i will open this project okay now uh, okay now we will follow the next steps okay so it is saying uh, cd my project so we are already inside my project now npm install and npm run dev okay so now we'll we will see npm install npm install okay <clears throat> it will install all the related package uh, for wheat and react so far we have not done anything for uh, tailwind css we are just uh, setting up uh, setting up a wheat and react project as of now so it will uh, install all the npm modules 
for wheat and react okay so modules are uh, uh, there okay node modules now we will see and we will try to run npm run dev okay so it will start our local server okay so it is saying on this path you can see our local server running okay so i will open this url yeah so our wheat and react uh, uh, project is running locally so it is uh, successful so now we will we will do uh, to install in tailwind cs basically so now for third step we will go for this one so we have to install tailwind css post css and auto prefixer okay so we will uh, copy this command and then uh, run here let me stop this first okay now we will install this also so we are installing tailwind css post css out of prefixer okay these got installed now we will uh, go for next thing so this is npx tailwind css in it so it will create it will basically create a uh, tailwind configuration file so as you can see there is no configuration file as of, as of now in our project for tailwind css basically but it will create a new tailwind css config file you will see yeah here okay so this is the tailwind config file with the default setting okay it got created now we have to just change the, uh, the content of uh, uh, this configuration file okay this is the co content and content is blank as of now but we will replace with this code okay it is simply saying that we have to apply uh, tailwind css for uh, uh, all the files inside uh, src folder and outside as src there is index.html we have to apply there also so it is saying simply saying this this thing so now we will go for next step for next step basically we have to copy these directives so these are the directives uh, for uh, tailwind css and we have to uh, paste this directive inside our uh, inside index.css okay now top of the file we will we will use this index uh, sorry tailwind cs directives okay these are the base directives basically and now we will again run npm run dev okay so npm run dev okay it is again running the local server uh, okay so okay this is the local server running okay so let me make some changes inside this this is our app.js jsx file let me try some okay so now it, it is saying in tutorial it is saying that you are done for the installation and you can you can use uh, uh, classes of tailwind css directly so we will now try to use the classes here okay let me simplify it a little bit okay so here okay so th let me simplify it okay so we have to remove this also we don't need this and we don't need the, these uh, these things also so we will also remove this okay so simple simple as that so now we will try to use uh, uh, some tailwind css classes okay so now i will create a div okay and class name will be okay so before before uh, going to that guys so there is a uh, cool uh, tailwind css extension that can uh, that can help you to you know uh, suggest you all the related classes for tailwind css because there are multiple classes and you you know nobody can remember all those classes so there is a cool extension i already have installed so i am just showing to you so if you go for extensions so there is a tailwind css yeah so this is the tailwind css intellisense okay i already installed this one so if you install this in your vs code so your uh, vs code will suggest all the tailwind classes automatically uh, okay uh, so let me uh, try some classes so uh, what is one is uh, bg okay it is saying bg color bg red okay bg red 400 okay BG, it is already suggesting us now we will say inline so it is already is suggesting you inline block and it is also saying uh, giving you suggestions what what will uh, uh, what will be the impact of that classes okay display in line so every class you can uh, check out here using that extension so without that extension you will not be able to uh, you know find all the classes but if you install that extension uh, vs code automatically suggest you all the classes okay so we will select inline block okay then uh, we can say uh, width width you can choose anyone so 32 okay now height also 32 okay now um, okay everything is done so i think let me check okay this is the this is our uh, div 
okay let me see here it will it will automatically get refreshed and guys you can see uh, we can uh, we can use tailwind css uh, classes here so it is perfectly installed in our project if i uh, copy this and you know paste paste it right like this and if i say red then blue okay then uh, green so it will apply on these these divs and you know you can see these are the different different uh, divs and they are different with the different uh, different color background color okay so it means uh, we are able to uh, use uh, tailwind css so we we installed perfectly okay so and one more thing guys so if you can see this is the beauty of tailwind css if you if you see i have used uh, 400 color theme here okay so if you use 400 or you know any any the same uh, same number of background color or font color or anything so it will give you a symmetry in your uh, in your ui uh, all over your website so if i just assume if i randomly use any red color or anything okay so 900 or something so it will be uh, you know it will not look good with other colors you know you can see this is the dark this is the dark one uh, green is very very much dark as compared to these thing these two so uh, tailwind give you a standard way of using ui components okay so here you are uh, you are able to use tailwind cs properly so this the, i think this was the uh, uh, agenda for this tutorial and we are now able to use tailwind cs in our project and uh, that's it for the video guys and if you have any problem installing uh, tailwind css in your project you can write down in the comments and i would like to give you two suggestions uh, if you face uh, any uh, problem in installing then you can follow two steps either you can inst upgrade your node version okay and second one is you have to uh, restart your vs code okay after installing tailwind css sometime it it may work for uh, most of the people okay so that's it for the video and if you face any difficulty you can write down in the comments and i will try to solve your pro problem thank you so much for this video and uh, i will see you in my next video thank you guys bye